The caution has just come out for championship contender Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson knew something was wrong. Right in front of the leader, Jeff Gordon, his teammate. And there's the end of his championship hopes right there. There's nothing he can do with that flat tire. There we see the tire blow just before he spun. The outside tire lost the air. And we heard him say, I don't know what this car is doing. Well, like I said, I mean, he knew something was wrong with that race car. And, um... Great job. Good season. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble out. Back straight away. Landon Castle and Trevor Bain. More involved. Michael Witt's involved. Yellow number seven. A couple of busted radiators. Radiators broke, landed to jump out of it. Guys, let's, uh, let's head to garage see what we got. Oh, looks like Jamie McMurray caught the left rear corner of Landing Castle. And... Oh, oh, yeah. Go with nowhere to go right there. So, yeah, the 21. I think the 21 must have run over something with the left front tire off of that, and it uh, exploded then. That's what tore the fender off oh, yeah. it. Had to. Or he could have just locked it up, and that's yeah. what blew it out. Just instantly blew the left front fender off of that 21 car, Baines. Trouble on pit road for Elliott Sadler. This car was actually on fire for a second. Damage on the front of the 19 car. They come out to him, and he's still sitting there. Could have created a log jam on all these cars trying to come down pit road. And Sadler happened to be right there. Now watch the move. Not sure what exactly how this happened. You see Montoya there. Well, actually, it's not even part of it. It's just That's a stack up there with car. the 96. Yeah, but Menard, Sorensen, Sadler, and Waltrip. That's the uh, chain reaction there on pit road, and Elliott Sadler got the worst damage. Yeah, I just looked up and saw uh, this 19 car on fire and then saw the 42 pull into the garage. I thought maybe he caused it, but he was no part of it at all. Montoya. You okay? Boy, you don't see that right. off the BP. No, Still really can't tell. That happened early, too, like even before the corner. That happened on the straightaway, didn't it? Fuels, fuel cell erupts. Well, this is oh, one first Nextel Cup Series start. Boy, he did a good job getting unhooked and getting out of there. You see the caution flag out and the pace car in front of the field and a hard crash for A.J. Allmendinger going into turn number one. This one developed all in a hurry. Check it out. Oh, watch this. Just takes a left. Looks like the left rear tire just blew out. I heard him say on the radio that he, he had had some, maybe some contact with another car earlier. It could have caused his left rear to go down. Is that a misjudgment or is that a turn on purpose? Rusty, what do you think? Well, it looked like Kevin oh, was trying to dart man. back underneath him. He had a big run and just didn't quite clear him. It looked like a racing accident to me, but boy, it's They bumped awful. earlier, though. Remember, they're yeah. they, had a, they had some... Uh, Makes you wonder. Car to pit road. Wow. See, Kevin tried to do that swap over. He did. He slid right yeah. up. Thought he had him cleared. Kevin gets below him and... Mm. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. I'd say it was incidental, but uh, Kyle's probably not going to feel that way. And that's oh, yeah, the final push to pull the car left. over and stop on the racetrack. Get out of the race car, bud. Get so the fire crews can go attend to that. Comes the fire truck. He's coming to your left. Oh. Bud, you got to get out of it. You got to get out of it, man. You got to get out of it. Look at that. All right, there's the fire truck right there. The 88 is involved. The 15 as well. This 88 was one, of the teams, was one of the teams that chose to just come and get four tires. He was trying to use those tires, get back up through the field. They're racing two, three, and four wide down the backstretch. Yeah, the 88's really trying to push the issue on these new tires. He tries to get to the outside of Ty Dillon. You see the 15 come up, actually, and get into Ty Dillon. That causes the 15 to go around. He catches the 88 in the left rear quarter panel. 
Really, the first replay, I thought it was the 88 that pushed the 33, but looking at it a second time, that's not what happened. It looked like Clint Boyer got into the 33, got himself spun around, and caused the accident behind him.